under Section 2.508.2 of the Uniform Commercial Code, or UCC. If a buyer rejects delivered goods as non-conforming, but the seller had reasonable grounds to believe that the tendered goods would be acceptable, then the seller is entitled to a reasonable time to substitute conforming tender, if he promptly notifies the buyer that he intends to cure the defect. But to conform the tender, does the seller have to substitute entirely new goods, or can he just repair the delivered goods? The court examined that question in Wilson v. Scampoli. On November 4, 1965, Nick Scampoli bought a new color television set from Willie Wilson TV Appliances. Scampoli's sales ticket guaranteed 90 days of free service on the television set and replacement of any defective parts for one year. Wilson's delivery man brought the television set to Scampoli's house two days later. The delivery man unloaded the television set from the factory crate, plugged it in, and adjusted the antenna. When the television was turned on, the picture had a reddish color. The delivery man told Scampoli's daughter, who was handling the television delivery on her father's behalf, that a service representative would help adjust the color. Two days later, Wilson's service representative came to Scampoli's house to examine the television. After trying for an hour to fix the color, the representative told Scampoli's daughter that he couldn't figure out what was causing the problem. He asked to take the television chassis out of its cabinet and bring it to the shop for further examination. Scampoli's daughter refused to let the service representative remove the chassis. She told him that she didn't want a repaired television set. She wanted a new one. She subsequently demanded that Wilson refund the purchase price paid by her father. Wilson refused to return the money, but offered again to repair the television set or to replace it if it couldn't be repaired. Scampoli sued Wilson in a Washington, D.C. court, seeking a refund of the purchase price. The trial court rescinded the sale contract and ordered Wilson to return Scampoli's money. Wilson appealed to the District of Columbia Court of Appeals, arguing that rescission was inappropriate because he'd been willing to cure the defect in the tender by repairing or replacing the television set, but he hadn't been given a chance to try to fix the problem.